basketball season underway here for 2006-2007, and we're underway. The ball's going to go all the way back into the backcourt and chased down by the Rosco Hornet. The Hornets will bring it into the uh, front court with the basketball of Sadler. He gets it out to Miller, top of the key. Man-to-man -man pressure by the Broncos. Munoz comes out a loose ball. Going to be treated by the Hornets. Jordan Delks with it, and he bounces to Miller. Miller comes down the lane. A little floater is up and good. Brandon Miller has the Hornets on the scoreboard first. They lead 2 nothing. Broncos back up the floor with it. Jesse Berry with it. Now top of the key to Munoz. The Hornets are in a man-to-man -man pressure. Far corner to Gamble. Gamble finds Berry top of the key. He wants to drive. Comes down the lane. Quick move. Missed the shot. Two down grab by the Hornets. Jordan Delks pulled it down. He gets it to Sadler. Sadler into the front court. Top of the key picked up by Koger. Right wing it goes to Brendan Miller. Miller sends it left wing to Delks. Delks down the baseline to Brenneman. Brenneman on the baseline on the drive. It's going to be fouled. Prior to the shot, the Hornets will take it out of bounds. Foul's called on Joe Gamble, his first. Team foul number one. Jeff trailing 2-0, 7.04 to go. Opening quarter here from the Crowley Center. Yeah, Joe Gamble, he's only six foot, and he's playing six foot five. Jordan Mulligan, so it's going to be crucial for him to stay out of foul trouble because he's definitely covering a bigger guy than him. Far sideline with it, Miller. Down on the blocks it goes. And we've got a violation stepping on the inline out of bounds for the Hornets is Jordan Mulligan, their center. First turnover of the ball game for either club. Jeff gets it back to him, 2 nothing. And Jesse Berry looks over to the bench, gets the play call. Berry, a freshman for the Broncos. Front court with it, Oakley baseline right, drives the baseline, cross court pass to Gamble, near corner fires a jumper, no, and we've got a rebounding foul here, and the Hornets are going to pick up a rebounding foul. That was a nice no lift pass from uh, Jordan Oakley to uh, Gamble, but he was unable to knock down the shot. Jordan Mulligan picked up the foul for Rossville, his first team foul number one. And Gamble inbounding baseline right underneath their own bucket for the Broncos into Munoz. He drives the baseline, missed the runner, rebound taps around and grabbed by Miller, the Hornets. Hornets on top, 2-0. Right Pull-up jumper on the other end by Delt. Barry, Jordan Delt, 6-3, and the Hornets have a good start here, leading 5-0. Yeah, the Hornets are... Looks like they've got a hot shooting touch. The Broncos seem to be pretty cold right now. Front court with it. Munoz drives inside. An errant pass. Retrieved by Coger. Top of the key to Barry. Now right wing to Gamble. To Barry. Barry comes down the left side of the lane. In trouble. Puts up a shot. No, but drew a foul. And there's a good example there, Paul, where Barry was able to use his athleticism to hang in the air and draw a foul. Yeah, he tried to drive in there, and he was covered by two uh, much larger defenders, but uh, acrobatically uh, putting up the shot, and he definitely got out there. Derek Brenneman picked up the Rossville foul, his first, team foul number two. Barry at the foul line, left the first free throw short. He'll get a second. Jeff still looking for their first points of the season. Down five to nothing with 6-10 to go here opening quarter. A momentary delay here, and we're going to get a conference between two of the officials as Coach Gick for Rossville questioning something here. I don't know what it's about. Two of the officials are going to talk things over. Well, that conference breaks up, and we'll be set for the second free throw here. Jesse Berry, the free throw shooter for the Broncos. Free throw in the air. Missed them both short. Rebound to the Hornets. Mulligan pulled it down. The Hornets lead 5 to nothing. Here they come into the front court. Sadler with it. Sends it right wing to Miller. Miller guarded by Munoz. Off to the now Delk. Delk tries to drive inside. Stops in the lane. Pops the jumper. No rebound. Tipped around and grabbed by Barry of the Broncos. He pushes the ball into the front court. Dishes far corner. Coger launches a three. No. Rebound to the Hornets. Brandon Miller grabs it. He gets it to Sadler. And Sadler will set up the Rossville offense with a 5 nothing lead. Delk's with it. Back to Sadler. Top of the key. Far sideline to Miller. Down low. We've got a loose ball. Back to Sadler. Or actually Miller, a loose ball in the near corner, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds by Barry of the Broncos, and the Hornets will inbound underneath their own goal, leaving five to nothing. 5.29 to go here in the opening quarter. Slow start in the game for the Broncos. Miller inbounds to Sadler on the right wing. To Delks, left wing, guarded by Barry. Back to Sadler, top of the key. Sadler dribbles, nearly traveled, gets it to Miller. Miller Drives the lane, dishes back to Sadler. Sadler, down low it goes to Mulligan. Here's a steal by the Broncos. 
Nice steal by Gamble, and here they come into the front court. Oakley with it left wing. Still down 5 nothing. Gamble, he slashes inside, lays it in. Joe Gamble has the Broncos on the board. They trail 5-2. to two. Nice drive by Joe Gamble there, straight to the basket to finish that one off. And a nice steal down at the other end by him as well. The Hornets lead by three. They've got the ball front court, far sideline. Down low it goes. Brennan spins on the baseline, missed the shot. Rebound to Coger of the Broncos. He dishes into the front court to Munoz, left wing, out high to Barry. Now to Coger, far corner to Gamble. And he turns it over. Taken away there by Jordan Delft. First turnover of the game for the Broncos. Brandon Miller with it. Far sideline for the Hornets. Down low on the baseline to Brenneman. Out high to Sadler. Launches a three. Got it. Kendall Sadler, his first point. It's a three, and Rossville leads eight to two. Back up to four Broncos. Koger with it. Down on the baseline to Oakley. Oakley underneath. This is the gamble near corner. Missed the jumper from about 15 feet. Rebound to the Hornets. Sadler into the front court. On the dribble, picked up by Cobra. Sends it to Miller here on the right wing. Down low, inside to Mulligan, and Mulligan's held from behind. That foul's going to go on Joe Gamble, and of course, uh, Joe has got his hand full down there tonight. It's six feet, trying to guard a much, much taller Jordan Mulligan. Yeah, so far, he's, he's had some times on some series where he's done a nice job, and other times where he's been overwhelmed and has fouled. And Gamble's going to check out with two fouls, trying to guard the six foot five Mulligan. Number of substitutions for the Broncos. We'll set them here for you. Timmy Fogarty's come in. And Brendan, Brandon Williams has come in. And we'll see if that's the substitutions. Also number 42, Henry Patterson. So the three subs there for the Broncos. Hornet basketball. Sadler with the top of the key. He's going to shoot another three. He's fouled shooting a triple by Coger. And not a smart decision there by Blaine. And that's going to be a foul that's going to send a... Sadler to the foul line three times here for the Hornets. And when uh, Rossville shooting with a, such a, a nice hot touch that early in the game, you really don't want to give them these additional free throws. Three free throws coming here for Kendall Sadler of Rossville. First free throw in the air, good. And Rossville leads by seven, nine to two with 3.46 to go here in the opening quarter. Sadler toes the line on the second free throw. It's in the air, and it's good. He's got a great-looking free throw form. He's going to go for the trifecta right here as the Hornets lead by eight, 10 to two. Third free throw by Sadler is no good. It rolled off the side of the rim. Rebound to Jeff. They're into the front court here. Williams with it to Coger. Top of the key, Munoz. He shoots a straightaway three. Got it! Caesar Munoz with his first points of the season. Jeff down by five, 10 to five. Yeah, that could be exactly what Jeff needs here. Uh, Munoz was wide open at the top of the key and drained that three-pointer. So uh, that might uh, give Jeff the boost that they need. And now we've got a violation away from the ball. The Hornets are going to turn it over here for the third time. It's going to be an offensive foul. It's going to go against number 34. Nick Beavis, who had checked in during the last dead ball timeout. Inbounding in backcourt, Fogarty, and he gets it into Brandon Williams. Williams handling the point guard duties now for the Broncos to Fogarty. Left wing to Munoz in the front court to Coger. He comes down the lane. He's going to travel with the basketball. Second Bronco turnover. Substitution for the Hornets. Aaron Martin checks in. Replacing Jordan Delft. With the basketball is Kendall Sadler for Rossville. He dribbles into the front court. Rossville leading by five, ten to five. Here's Martin who comes in and shoots a quick three. Missed it. Rebound to Munoz for the Broncos. Caesar into the front court. Comes down the lane. A little runner in the lane. Got it and was foul. We'll see if it counts. We'll wait to see officially, yes. A chance at a three-point play here for Caesar. He went coast to coast, and we'll see if he can make this a two-point game. Yeah, the senior Munoz is really stepping up well so far tonight. He's got uh, five of the Broncos points so far, and he could get the sixth one here on this free throw. Brandon Miller picked up the foul his first. Paul said five for, senior, for Caesar and make it six. 10-8, a little full-court pressure by the Broncos now. Sadler with it in backcourt. 
Now Coger backs off a little bit of Sadler, and Sadler brings it into the front court. The Hornets have led all the way so far in this one. Miller with it down low. Runner on the lane by Phoebus rolls in. Nick Phoebus with his first bucket, 12-8 Rossville. Broncos right back up the floor. Pull-up jumper, top of the key. Rattles out by Coger. Rebound to Sadler. He bounces into the front court to Martin. Martin near corner, launches a three. Yes, that'll be it. Aaron Martin with a three in the Hornets. Get a three on the other end. Pull-up jumper by Williams. No good for the Broncos. Knocked out of bounds by Henry Patterson. And we've got a uh, problem with the scoreboard here as they credited that last three-pointer to the uh, Jeff Broncos. They'll get that corrected. And the scoreboard now leads 15-8 Rossville. And the Hornets get the ball back with 2.23 to go here in the first quarter. Just when it looked like the Broncos were putting on a little streak there. Um, that, or Rossville drained that three-pointer to uh, put, keep Jeff down for a minute. Nick Phoebus inbounds against full court pressure, gets it into Sadler. Sadler looks to be very quick and tough to trap. He dribbles it into the front court, gets it to, uh, it's in Miller, down low on the box to Mulligan, cross court pass. Right wing, three ball by Martin, no good. A leaping rebound by Henry Patterson to Broncos. He's right down the floor, goes coast to coast, lays it up over his head and scores. Henry Patterson with a great play, 15 to 10 Rossville. Nifty little move there, going to the basket, a little over under, and flicked it up into the basket. Front court with it, Miller, far sideline for the Hornets, drives the baseline. Pass going to be knocked out of bounds here by Brandon Williams of the Broncos. And as we said, Henry Patterson, the 6'1 uh, senior for the Broncos, a nice play on that last offensive possession. Hornets inbound, Miller gets it into Phoebus. 15-footer right wing is missed. Rebound to Munoz for the Broncos. Munoz into the front court. Dishes to Coger. Coger drives inside. Now finds Fogarty. Far corner to Munoz. And we've got bodies on the floor. And we're going to have a foul. Going to go against the Hornets. Number 30, Aaron Martin picks it up his first. Much to the dismay of the Hornets faithful. Seated right to my left here. Yeah, the Hornets have a large turnout here on their side. But uh, that was the way for the ball against number 34. Uh, it looked like the official signal number 30, but it actually went against number 34, Phoebus. His second, he checks out. Broncos inbound, and here's a three ball missed by Munoz on the left wing. Rebound tipped out to the horn. 1.30 to go. Rossville on top, 15-10 in the opening quarter here from the Crowley Center. Sadler with it, dribbling right wing, down low. It goes on the box, missing the turnaround jumper is dealt. Loose ball, we're gonna have a hell ball on the rebound. Possession arrow is going to give it to the Broncos. And Brandon Williams, the 5'9 sophomore, brings up the floor to Coger Far sideline. A dangerous pass on the inline, broken up there by Jordan Mulligan out of bounds. Broncos will keep inbound baseline right. 112 to go opening quarter down 15-10. Yeah, as you mentioned, that was a dangerous pass. And uh, number 44, Mulligan dove in front of the ball to try to get it, but he knocked it out of bounds. Got to get another Rossville substitution. Number 24, Robbie Holford comes in for the first time. Replacing Kendall Sadler. Sadler is getting his first breather of the ball game. And might have a Rossville injury as we get the Jeff uh, trainer. Mr. Clevenger goes down there to look something over. Looks like we've got a Rossville player holding his nose, perhaps a bloody nose there by Jordan Delk. That's the reason for the delay here. And if there's any blood on the floor, that's what the official is pointing out right now. He's looking for out near the uh, center circle. If there's any, they're going to have to get it all cleaned up here. We're going to have to have some housekeeping duties here. And Jeff Clevenger is going to clean up the, the blood out on the floor. We've got a momentary delay here. Let's thank the floor. Now we're ready to go again. And Broncos inbounding baseline right in front court with Timmy Fogarty. Broncos down by five here, nearing the end of the first quarter. Into Koger, pull up three, far sideline, yes. Blaine Koger, his first point of the year. That cuts the lead for the Hornets, down to two, 15-13. Yeah, nice dream by, uh, by Koger there. That'll pull the Broncos to within two points here with less than a minute left in the first quarter. Sadler with it, front court for Rossville, bounces down, low to and 
Ney missed the layup try. Rebound to Patterson of the Broncos. To Williams. Into the front court to Koger. Drives the baseline. Reverse layup. Good. Koger scored five quick points, and we're tied at 15. Nice move there by Koger, cutting down across the baseline and laying it up and under and off the top of the glass. Hornets with the ball front court, far sideline. Martin, here's the steal over there by the Broncos. Brandon Williams dropped the steal. Brandon bounces it in the lane on the other end, and the ball is kicked away by the Hornets. Jeff will keep the ball here with 25 seconds to go in the quarter, and we've got a tie ball game at 15. Just, yeah, just tied up at 15, and they're starting to show some of the energy, energy that Coach Wendell was talking about and moving the ball with a faster-paced offense. Koger with it, top of the key. Gets it off to Munoz, who's guarded by Williams. Now Brandon Williams with the ball for the Broncos. Munoz now is going to back it out to the circle with 12 seconds to go. Brendan Miller, the defensive assignment there for the Hornets. Munoz with it. Munoz wants to drive, and he's challenged on that shot, and he's going to pick up a foul. Brendan Miller, I believe, may have picked up his second with four seconds to go in the quarter, and that's going to send Caesar to the line for two free throw opportunities. We'll check that. They called it on Jordan Mulligan for Rossville. That's his second. And 16 fouls now on Rossville here in the first quarter. Munoz can give the Broncos the lead. The free throw, good. Jeff takes his first lead, 16-15. Substitution for Rossville. Derek Brenneman checks back in, replacing Mulligan. Caesar with seven points so far in the ball game. Make it eight. As Jeff leads 17-15. The Hornets. Martin launches far sideline from three-point land and misses it for Rossville. Left it short. at the end of the first quarter, and Jeff will lead by two points. A healthy lead there in the first quarter, I think, by as many as eight points, and they're down by two now. The Hornets start with the basketball, moving left to right here in the second quarter. Brenneman with it. He bounces to Phoebus, near corner. Phoebus' little pump fake gets it out to Brenneman, top of the key. Bounce pass to Phoebus in the lane, and they'll go out of bounds. Another Hornet turnover. I've got him unofficially with five. Cesar Munoz led the Broncos in scoring in the first quarter with eight. Kendall Sadler had five to lead the Hornets in scoring in the first half. Bronco basketball in the front court. It's Barry with it to Munoz here on the uh, near wing. Back to Barry, top of the key. It's Koger, Barry, Munoz, Oakley, and Fogarty on the floor for the Broncos. Oakley with it on the far baseline. He sends it in the lane to Munoz. Munoz puts it up at last and scores. Munoz with 10, 19-15, Jeff. Nice assist by Oakley. He looked a little bit trapped down there in the corner, but he managed to get a nice pass off the game. Crossbow Hornets ball, front court, Jordan Delk. Delk's on the drive in the lane, dishes down low to Brenneman. He makes his way into the bucket and scores. Derek Brenneman with two on the baseline drive there, 1917 Jeff. And we're going to get a violation on the other end as Soger's called for a travel here for the Broncos' third turnover. Jeff up by two. How about the uh, rebounding and assist situation in the first quarter there? Uh, so far, Patterson has done a nice job coming in for the Broncos. Henry Patterson, he's taken over for Jordan Oakley, and he had a, at least three, turn, three rebounds, and he did a nice job there in the first quarter. Hornet basketball. They're going to turn it over. Sadler lost the ball. Broncos at 4-6. Hornet turnovers on the other end. Oakley in trouble inside. Lays it up over his head off the glass and scores. What a circus shot that was by Jordan Oakley. His first two, 21-17 Jeff. I bet Oakley wouldn't have been surprised if that one did not go in because he looked like he, that was a desperation shot as he was trapped under the basket. On the other end, pulling up at the foul line and missing his Phoebus for the Hornets. Loose ball is going to go out of bounds. Last touch by Rossville. Back to the Jeff Broncos. 6.15 to go. Second quarter. Jeff by four. 21-17. We've seen a lot of turnovers in this game so far. A little bit of sloppy play on both sides thus far in the game. Jesse Berry with the ball. Looks like the Hornets may be in a zone defense now here. Oakley with it. Far corner. Loses the ball. Gets it back and gets it to Cobra. Stops the key to Berry. 2-3 zone by the Hornets. Munoz with it. Left wing. Near corner to Fogarty. Back to Munoz. They reverse it. Far corner to Barry to the Broncos. Now to Cobra. Near corner to Munoz. Pulls up for three. Yes! Munoz's shot is on early in this ball game. And he's got 13, 24-17, Jeff. 
Yeah, nice assist there by Coker against his own defense over far side and then passed a quick pass cross court to Munoz. Near corner, missing a three ball was Brendan Miller for the Hornets. Rebound to Jeff. Barry with the ball front court to Fogarty. Near corner, Munoz fires another triple. Hits again. Back-to-back -back triple for Munoz. He's got eight and a quarter. Jeff now leads by 10, 27 to 17. And the Hornets are going to take a timeout here, a 30-second timeout with 520. Hornets with the basketball. Sadler with it in backcourt. He brings it into the front court, picked up by Coger. Here's a three ball, missed by Jordan Delks. Rebound to Oakley of the Broncos. He brings it into the front court. Actually, it was Fogarty on that rebound. Here's a three ball, bearing far corner by Coger. Broncos have hit three consecutive threes and lead 30 to 17. Yeah, they're really doing a nice job of spreading the ball around and finding the open man. Sadler with it. Gets it to Miller down on the baseline. Ball knocked away by Barry out of bounds. Good help defense there by Barry to knock that ball away. The Hornets are inbound. Baseline right. And Brandon Miller will trigger for Rossville. And he gets it into Sadler right wing. Off to Delks, and we've got a foul here on the Broncos. I think Jesse Berry picked up a foul here, trying to guard Jordan Delks. Jesse Berry, his first foul. So far, the Broncos have been really playing some energetic defense so far in the uh, second quarter, and uh, so far they haven't been picking up fouls until that that one on Berry. Brandon Miller, inbounds far sideline, gets it into Delks. Delks on the dribble top of the key. He drives the lane. Dishes down low and laying it in is Derek Brenneman. Brenneman's got all four Rossville points in this quarter. 30 to 19 on the other end. Very slashed, but to wave off the bucket is we've got a uh, violation of Broncos. They step out of bounds. A turnover there for Substitution for Jeff. Number 12, Brandon Williams checks in, replacing Jesse Berry. 30 to 19, Jeff leads with 4.30 to go first half. Front court with it. Miller down low to Brenneman, double team back to Miller. On the baseline, left baseline, misses a shot, rebound tipped around, grabbed by the Hornets. Top of the key, no good. Missing the three was Martin, rebound to Jeff. Front court with it, Williams. And here's the three ball missed on the left wing by Munoz, and the ball is going to be... Deflected out of bounds. We've got a foul here against the Broncos. It's going to go against Jordan Oakley, his first team foul number five. Yeah, that was a, a pretty obvious foul for the rest to call there, but you could tell he's undersized and he's having a tough time down under the basket. So Rossville down by 11. They'll try to get closer on this trip. Sadler with it front court to Miller far sideline. Down low to Brenneman. He spins by Oakley and lays it in. So Brenneman... Having a good quarter with six. Broncos push the tempo right back down the floor. And Koger is fouling the baseline drive. And he couldn't get it to fall. And, and Blaine comes up a little gimpy, too. Uh, he may have hurt his left ankle here, Paul. And he's grabbing his calf. Or it could be his calf. Uh, uh. He's going to go to the foul line for two free throws. Jeff leading 30 to 21. Yeah, but he's definitely in pain. He'll probably come out after these free throws. Free throw by Coger is no good. We got a Jeff substitution. Henry Patterson comes in for Jordan Oakley. And it looks like there's another sub up ready to come in for Coger if he number, can make the free throw. Number 32, Casey Smith, is going to be coming in. If Coger can make the free throw. Free throw by Blaine is no good. So Blaine's going to have to stay on the floor here. Here come the Hornets down by nine. Sadler with it. Let's see if they try to drive on Coger here. Sadler sends it far sideline to Martin, to Brenneman. Brenneman dribbling far sideline. Off to Sadler, launches a deep three, no good. Rebound grabbed by Munoz, but he traveled off that rebound. Five Broncos turnovers now, and as Paul said, Casey Smith does come in replacing Blaine Coger. Yeah, and as you mentioned, the uh, Hornets did try to uh, use a, a screen there to get Coger off of his man. And the wide open three. Inbounds play to Brenneman. He cuts to the basket and scores. Eight points for him in the quarter, 30 to 23. Broncos back up the floor with it. Williams with it. Far corner. 
It goes to Smith. Now to Munoz. Munoz in the lane. Back to Smith. Smith to Fogarty. Near corner to Patterson. He launches a three. Missed it. And loose ball. Rebound picked up by Smith of the Broncos to Munoz. Back to Smith. Top of the key. Now to Williams. Munoz with it. He stops the foul line. Launches a jumper and got it. Caesar has given the Broncos a 32-23 lead. You're listening to WJEF Lafayette, serving the greater Lafayette community since 1972. Bronco basketball here, 32-23. Here's a pull-up jumper missed by the Broncos. Patterson with it. Rossville with the basketball. Down low, a dish. And missing the layup, Miller is going to be knocked out of bounds. Last touch by whom? Yeah. 32-23, 32-23, Rossville leading Lafayette Jeff. Or excuse me, Lafayette Jeff leading Rossville with 2.27 to go here second quarter. Game's gotten a little ragged here in the last minute or so, Paul. Yeah, it's some sloppy play by both teams and sloppy shooting also. Rossville inbound, Miller with it. Gets it into Delks. Delks finds Sadler. Far sideline to Miller, back to Sadler, top of the key, to Delks. Delks drives, stops the foul line, and hits a jumper. Delks with five, 32-25, Jeff. Smith on the other end, pulls up for three, no good for the Broncos. Rebound to the Hornets. Nick Beavis grabs it, and he's going to hand off to Sadler. The Hornets can get closer. 32-25 deficit. Sadler with it to Miller, right wing. Miller gets the screen. Dishes down low to Brenneman, who's shot up and good. Brenneman's been a load in the quarter for the Broncos. He's got 10. 32-27, Jeff. 143 to go here in the half. Far corner front court, Williams, and his pass deflected out of bounds as he tried to get Patterson on the baseline. Blaine Kilger comes back in. So he's okay, apparently. And Casey Smith will go back to the bench. Jordan Oakley going to check in as well. And Henry Patterson will take a breather. Five-point lead for the Broncos, substitution for the Hornets. Aaron Martin checks back in, replacing Derek Brenneman. He takes a seat with field goals for 10 points here in the quarter. Fogarty inbounds, gets it in to Coger, top the key to Williams. To Fogarty, far corner. Fogarty on the dribble to Williams. Williams stops to the foul line, shoots the shot, left it short. Rebound to the Hornets. Here comes Sadler. Hornets down by five. Near corner. Three ball by Delts. No. Rebound grabbed by Williams to the Broncos. He races into the front court. Dishes to Oakley. He spins in the lane. Missed the shot. Rebound grabbed by the Hornets. Sadler with it. To Martin in the front court. Here's a steal by Oakley. Oakley with the steal. He comes down the lane to Coger. Left wing. Munoz to three. No. Rebound grabbed by Rossville. Jordan Dell. And Sadler is going to slow the tempo for Rossville with 52 seconds to go in the half. 32-27. Three ball. Jordan Dell to Barry. Dell with eight in the ball game. Two-point lead for the Broncos. 32-30. On the other end, Coger launches a three. No. Black ironed it. Rebound. Grabbed underneath by Oakley. He lays it in. Oakley with four points all in the quarter. 34-30 Jeff. Nice one-man show there by Oakley underneath the basket. A good rebound and then put it back in. On the other end, Delk launches another three straight away. He hits again. Same spot on the court. He's hit back-to-back threes. Hornets draw within one, 34-33. With 13 seconds to go in the half. The Broncos apparently going to play for one. Munoz with it at the half-court line. Seven seconds to go. Munoz drives the right side of the lane. Pulls up his foul. These are fouled with 4.2 to go in the half. He'll shoot two free throws. But Brandon Miller picked up his second foul. The Broncos have a nice run at finishing off the first quarter, and the uh, Hornets have really done a nice job of coming back so far in the second quarter and had the same type of run here, and they've closed it in to a one-point game. Yeah, that's absolutely right. That's a very good point. The Broncos closed out the first quarter strong, but the Hornets here down by just one as Munoz misses it. No, he made it. Got the friendly roll on the free throw there. 35-33, Jeff by two. 
Hornets were down by believe, as many as, I believe, 11 in points here in this quarter. Two-point lead for Jeff. Second free throw by Munoz is good. 36-33. Here come the Hornets. Delft launches a three just across half court. Missed it. And Jeff's going to take a three-point lead to the locker room. 36-33 here at the Crawley Center tonight against the Rossville Hornets. Sent three-point shooting in the first half. That is outstanding for the Broncos. They're going to have the ball to start second half. It's Jesse Berry with it to Gamble. Pulls up near corner. Misses the jumper. Rebound to Rossville. The Broncos are going to start with the original starting five of Blaine Covert, Jesse Berry, Joe Gamble, Jordan Oakley, and Cesar Munoz. Hornets with it in the front court. Brenneman has trouble with the ball in the baseline, and he lost it out of bounds, but it's touched last by Joe Gamble. For the Rossville Hornets, their original starting five as well. Brendan Miller, Kendall Sadler, Jordan Delks, Derek Brenneman, and Jordan Mulligan. Miller inbounds, baseline left. Gets it into Mulligan. Off to Delks, left wing. Guarded there by Barry. Delks on the drive. Dishes far corner to Brenneman. Brenneman comes inside. Now gets it to Miller. Miller dishes out high to Sadler, who launches a three. Yes. Kendall Sadler has just tied the ball game. 36 apiece on the other end. Nice defensive play by Sadler as well to knock it away from Coger. Yeah, Sadler's a fast guy, and he's certainly shown some energy here to start the second half. And Kendall with eight points. Bronco ball inbounding in front of their own bench front court, Munoz. Broncos moving left to right here in the second half. Into Gamble. He drives the lane, puts it up, and scores. Joe Gamble with his second bucket of the ball game. 38-36 Jeff. And Gamble got some nice air there as he drove the lane and uh, finger rolled that one in. Brenneman on the other end on the baseline. Dishes far corner. Delks launches a three. Rattled out. Rebound to Gamble. Here come the Broncos. Seven minutes to go in the quarter. Up two. Gamble goes coast to coast. Lays it up with the left hand. No. Rebound tipped out nicely by Oakley to Barry. What a play there by Oakley to keep the ball alive. Barry, an athletic move to the bucket. Couldn't finish, though. Rebound to Brenneman for the Hornet. And Sadler brings it into the front court. Left wing there to Delks. He shoots from all over the place. And here's a foul called on Jesse Barry, his second of the ball game. And I think the case on that foul, Paul, is, is that Barry knows that Delks can shoot from anywhere just across half court. And he was guarding him really, really close and got called for a tic-tac foul there. Yeah, Delks is a pretty big but he's shown that he can make the three-pointer. And uh, Barry got caught on a silly reach and foul there. He shouldn't have done that. Rebounding here, Miller. Into Sadler. Sadler, a little pump fake, and he traveled. Took a little shuffle step there. Eight turnovers by the Hornets as Jeff leads 38-36. With 6.40 to go in the third quarter. And Barry will bring the ball across the half-court line. No full-court pressure by the Hornets. Barry with it. Sends it near corner, Munoz. He's going to launch an open triple. Hits it again. He's got 23. That's his fourth three-pointer. 41-36, Jeff. When his shot is on, the Broncos are probably going to be in good shape. That's the case right now. On the other end, Mulligan spins on the baseline, called for a travel. Hornets now with nine turnovers in the ballgame. Yeah, the Rothschild faithful are certainly looking for some fouls there, but uh, there's a couple of travels on the last two trips down the floor for them. 41-36, Jeff. Six. 10 to go here, third quarter. Gamble with it on the other end in the lane. A little pump fake. Puts it up and scores. Joe Gamble now with four in the quarter as Jeff leads 43-36 over Rossville. A yeah, nice job there. He drove in, couldn't find the shot, and managed to finally drop back and get one. Jeff on a 7-0 run after the Hornets tied it with a three to start the quarter. Here's the three ball. Sadler, he just got one in the near corner. He's got all six points for Rossville in the half. 43-39, Jeff. Barry with the ball. This is off to Munoz front court. He flashes down the lane, and he's bumped and fouled. We'll see if they rule it on the shot. Yeah, Barry's having a, a fun time out there, it looks like, right now against Blaine Coger, who injured his ankle earlier in the game, and he is a fast guy against Blaine Coger. Brandon Miller called for the foul, his third, and it was not in the act of shooting. Jeff takes it out of bounds. Joe Gamble inbounding baseline right underneath his own bucket here. And he gets it into Munoz. Munoz dribbles, comes down the lane, misses, misses a shot. We've got a, another whistle, another stoppage of play here. Another Rossville Hornet foul. Called on Jordan Mulligan, his third. 
team foul number two, and this time Munoz will step to the foul line for a couple of free throw opportunities. Caesar five for five from the line tonight. And make it six for six. He's got 24 points, 44-39 Jeff. Four, 5.36 to go here in the third quarter. Second free throw in the air by Caesar. Got them both. Munoz has been great from the free throw line today. That's his, that's his seventh um, made free throw out of seven attempts. Hornets with the ball. Front court. Delts with it over on the far sideline. Guarded very closely by Barry. Now he reverses his dribble, pulls up far corner, left the shot short. Rebound grabbed by Mulligan to the Hornets. Nice offensive rebound there to Brenneman, who tried to feed Mulligan. And the ball's kicked away by the Broncos. The Hornets will inbound on the baseline here. 5.15 to go third quarter, 45-39 Lafayette Jeff in this one. Inbounds pass to Mulligan. To Sadler. To Miller, left wing, and Allen down on the baseline to Brenneman. Shoots the jumper and scores. Ten-footer is good. Derek Brenneman with 12. 45-41 Jeff. Jeff races to the other end. Cobra on the baseline. Missed the runner. Rebound to the Hornets. Brenneman got it. Brenneman's height advantage is really starting to show. And Sadler with the ball front court. To Miller, far sideline. Back to Sadler, top of the key. Left wing to Delk. He forces a pass down low to Mulligan, and Mulligan is fouled by the Broncos. Joe Gamble will pick up the foul. His third, team foul number two. Substitution for Jeff. Timmy Fogarty's going to come back in, replacing Gamble. And we're going to get number 52, Shane Wyant, into the ball game for the first time. The sophomore comes in, replacing Jordan Oakley. And Wyant, the biggest, the tallest player the Broncos have on their roster at six foot, two inches tall. Yeah, the Broncos look like they need every inch they can get right here. This jumper missed by Delft. It rattled out. An offensive rebound missed on the putback try by Mulligan. And then the Hornets committed an over the back foul on a second rebound attempt. It's going to go against Jordan Delft, his first team foul number three. 439 to go. Third quarter, 45-41. Jeff on top of Rossville. Broncos with the basketball. Barry with it front court between the circles, top of the key. Far sideline to Fogarty, back to Barry. Off to Munoz as the Hornet. Maybe in a 2 3 here. Coming down the lane, Fogarty dishes down low to a wide open Munoz who lays it in. Munoz now with seven in the quarter, 47 41. And a nice pass there from Timmy Fogarty. And we say that a lot on the gridiron. Yeah, but a nice pass here on the hardwood. And uh, it was a good assist there as he drove in the lane. And here's a Bronco foul. Good aggressive defense, but picking up the foul here is Shane Wyant, his first team foul number three. We got a timeout called by the Rossville Hornets. 404 to go here. You. For more information, visit www.iyi.org. Back here again at the Crawley Center. Rossville inbounding underneath their own bucket down by six. The inbound pass comes to Brenneman. He drives the left side of the lane, missed the shot. Rebound nearly tipped in by the Hornets, but now Jeff grabs the board. Front court with it, Fogarty, right wing, near quarter to Munoz. Thought about the shot, but dishes back to Fogarty. Loose ball, Fogarty tips it, and it's retrieved by Delft of the Hornets. Six Bronco turnovers now. Hornets down by six, they'll try to get closer. Far corner with it, Delk. Down low to Mulligan, in the lane, pulls up and got the roll. Mulligan with his first two of the ball game. 47-43, Jeff, 3.30 to go third quarter. Barry with it, to Koga, right wing, top of the key to Munoz. Munoz sends it to Fogarty, far sideline, far corner to Barry. He comes down the baseline, dishes to Munoz. Now he comes down the near baseline and scores on the shot. Nice play there by Cesar Munoz, and Jeff up by 6, 49-43. Front court with it, Delk, down low to Brenneman. He turns on Wyatt, back to Delk, comes down the baseline. Delk's fouled on the drive. He'll shoot two free throws for Rossville. Jesse Berry picked up his third foul, and I think he's going to check out here in a moment to be replaced by Brandon Williams. Jordan Delps, 
two free throws for Roscoe. He's got 11 points in the ball game. Make it 12. So Williams comes in, replacing Barry for the Broncos. 49-44, Jeff. Three minutes to go straight up here in the third quarter. He's going to come back in as well for the uh, Broncos. Replacing Timmy Fogarty. Delk to the line for a second. Free throw in the air. Good. Made them both. 49-45. Broncos back up the floor. Koger with it. To Oakley. Oakley tried to get it to Wyant. Nothing there. Now to Munoz. Who sends it to Williams. Near corner to Koger. Down low to Wyant. Wyant puts it up. Got the roll. Shane Wyant with a great play. He turned and put it up and got the roll. 51-45 Jeff. Nice shot by Koger also to find him inside the lane. Two for Wyant as we've got an over-the-back foul on the other end on defense here. Going to go against Jordan Oakley of the Broncos, his second. Team foul number five. 2.36 to go third quarter. Jeff, 5-5. Five, five. By six, rather, 51-45. Inbounds pass to Sadler for three. He buried it. Kendall Sadler with his third triple of the half. The Blaine Koger slipped and fell, and Sadler took advantage of the drain the three. 51-48, Jeff. Koger launches a jump on the right wing in the front court. It rattled out. Rebound to Rossville. And the Rossville Hornets can tie the ball game on the three this trip if they choose to shoot one. Brenneman with a baseline left, turns, puts it up over Wyant, left it way short. Rebound tip, saved by Brenneman, and he had it stolen away by Williams, and Brenneman commits a foul for the Hornets. His second, and good steal there by Williams of the Broncos. Yeah, nice effort there and good quickness by Williams, and he got in there and got the rebound and undrew the foul very quickly. Brandon Williams there with the steal, and Rossville has turned it over 10 times in the game. 2-0-1 to go, third quarter, 51-48. Floppy at Jeff on top. Look at another timeout. The Jeff Broncos are going to take one, a full timeout. We'll step away for one minute. You're listening to Bronco basketball on Jeff 92 to 48. And Jeff had a three-point lead at the halftime break, and that's where it stands down. Two minutes to go in the quarter. Williams with the ball. He crosses the half-court line for Jeff. Gets it to Munoz far sideline. Teaser drives back to Williams. Nearly got tied up by Sadler. Far sideline now to Oakley. Oakley to Williams. Right wing to Munoz. Munoz drives to the baseline. Throws it up and in. Teaser Munoz. Another good quarter here. And let's see what we got here. Basket is good, and we've also got a foul against Rossville's Derek Brenneman, his third, so this is going to be a chance of a three-point play procedure as, as he could give the Broncos a six-point lead if he makes it. Yeah, that was a nice bucket there as he drove along the baseline and got that one to roll in. I'm not sure how he did that one. 11 points here. 11 points for Caesar here in the quarter. Now make it 12. He's got 32 in the ball game. The lead all scores, 54-48. On the other end, here's a three ball on the left wing. It's hit by Aaron Martin, his second three of the ball game. Three-point lead for the Broncos, 54-51. And Coach Bunnell upset, apparently, defensively for his club, calls for a 30-second timeout at the end of the third quarter. Yeah, he's really turned it on here. Williams with the ball front court for the Broncos. Near corner to Munoz, down low in the lane to Wyant. He turns to his left, fires and scores. A great play by Wyant. He's got four points in the quarter, 56-51, and he showed a couple nice post moves here in the quarter, Paul. Yeah, nice basket as he was surrounded by five defenders. On the other end, Delks misfires on the three, rebound tipped around and grabbed by the Hornets. Here's a three ball missed near far corner by Martin. And now a rebounding foul against Rossville. So they attempted a couple of quick threes, missed them both, and pick up a rebounding foul on Jordan Delks, his second. 112 to go, third quarter, 56-51. Lafayette Jeff on top of Rossville. The Rossville's got plenty of time left in this game. They're only down by five, and there's a minute and 11 seconds 
and counting in the third quarter, but they seem to be almost playing with a little bit of desperation. Williams with it front court. The Hornets look like to be some type of zone defense as Coger misfires on a three near corner. Nice offensive rebound by Caesar, and we've got a traveling call on Caesar. Marino. Seven turnovers against the Broncos. So the Broncos' turnovers have been limited here tonight, but there was one that will give the ball back to Roscoe with 58 seconds to go in the quarter. So Sadler walks the ball into the front court for Roscoe, picked up by Coger. Far corner to Martin, down low to Mulligan. He slips against Wyant, puts up a shot anyway and scores. A real tough shot by Jordan Mulligan. Four points, three-point lead to the Broncos, 56-53. And with 35 seconds to go, Williams holds the ball at the half-court line as the Hornets stay in his zone defense here. Williams with it. Far sideline to Munoz. The Broncos may be content here to hold for a final shot in the quarter with 20 seconds to go. Williams with it. Near corner to Coger. To Munoz. Out high by the circle. He dribbles over to the far sideline. Back to Williams. Dangerous pass. Williams retrieves. Gives it back to Munoz. Six seconds to go. Munoz, top of the key, behind the back dribble. Comes down the lane, fires the lane, throws it in. Caesar scores the buzzer. 58-53, Jeff Reed after three quarters of play. And this was Rosemary to start the quarter with only four players. They get Martin out there now. The Hornets with the ball, and they've been unable to stop Caesar Munoz in this game, who's been in the zone with 34 points. Hornet basketball knocked away in their front court by Brandon Williams of the Broncos. Now Derek Brenneman gets off the Hornet bench, replacing Aaron Martin. And now Martin gets to go sit down on the bench. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon Miller inbounds, gets it into Mulligan. He misses a corner jumper, rebound tipped around, grabbed down there by Miller. Missed the putback try, Delk follow up, no good. Got his own put back again, missed again. Gets his own again, and he's stripped. We've got a whistle and a foul on the floor. It's going to go against Lafayette Jeff, and oh boy, it's just sticking up the foul was Joe Gamble. That's his fourth foul. He'll probably have to head to the bench, but the Broncos are a little bit fortunate there, Paul, because Jordan Delft had a couple of point-blank layup opportunities he couldn't convert. Yeah, the Broncos are certainly fortunate, and they are undersized, but I'm sure Coach Brunel is going to be working with them on rebounding this Here's week. Corner jumper missed by Delft. Rebound to the Broncos. Munoz with it. He's into the front court. Near corner, Coger launches a quick three. Yes! Wayne Coger with 11 points now. His third triple. 61-53, Jeff. 23 to go in the game. I think it's important for Jeff to get some other players uh, back scoring so that Rossville can't simply shut down Munoz. Now Derek Brenneman scores on a drive on the other end. He's got 14. Jeff pushes the tempo. Williams with it. Had his pass deflected. Got it back and drives and scores. Brandon Williams now with his first bucket of the ball game gives Jeff an eight-point lead. On the other end, Mulligan double team back to Delk. Three ball, left wing, no good. Rebound down low to Brenneman. And he's fouling the putback try. He'll shoot two free throws here for the Rossville Hornets. Shane Wyatt picked up his second personal foul. Team foul number seven against Jeff. Derek Brenneman to the free throw line. 14 points. It's tied for team high honors with Kendall Sadler. His first free throw is missed by Brenneman. Now the Hornets are a much bigger team, but they've only shot six free throws in the entire ball game, and that was just their third of the half as Brenneman makes one of two. 63-56, Broncos push the tempo, fire another three. Coger hits again from the near corner. He stuck two in a row from the exact same spot. Ten-point Bronco lead, 66-56. Front court spinning underneath and being called for a charge is Jordan Mulligan for the Hornets. His fourth personal foul and the 11th turnover for Rossville. So the Broncos will try to build the ten, build on this 10-point lead, 66-56, 6.41 to go in the ballgame. Williams brought, walks it across the half-court line, picked up by Miller. Near corner to Munoz. Munoz drives inside, and he is grabbed and held. 
Foul's going to go against Kendall Sadler, I believe. That'll be his first foul. Eighth team foul against Rossville. So Cesar Munoz to the line. 34 points, and as Paul said, he's been great at the line tonight with eight for eight from the charity stripe. Free throw by Cesar. Oh, good, he missed one. But a leaping rebound is Joe Gamble. Broncos get a reset here off a nice rebound by Gamble. Gamble has the ball near corner, gets it to Williams. The Hornets are in his own defense. And Gamble with the ball again. Gamble drives inside, puts it up off the glass, scores. Joe with eight in the ball game. 12-point lead for Jeff, 68-56. Yeah, nice rebound off of the missed free throw, and then a nice bucket to finish it off. Broncos need to hunker down defensively now and not allow the Hornets to get back in the ball game. Delks a baseline drive, missed the shot, tipped up his rebound. No, rebound is tipped around again and retrieved by Miller of Rossville. Near corner, Delks. He drives the baseline, puts it up, no, drew a Bronco foul. Let's see who picked up the foul. Kind of good, that's Joe Gamble, and he's just fouled out. So Joe Gamble fouls out with eight points. And six of those eight had come in the second half, so we'll see who head coach Bunnell will replace him with. Bunnell taking his time here with the decision, talking things over with assistant coach Isaac Stevens. But Gamble's, uh, Gamble's eligibility has expired here in the ball game. He's made some great contributions yep. to the Broncos, though. He's a little bit undersized, and he's been showing some great energy, both on offense and defense, for the Broncos. Now, Coach said Coach Scott Bunnell using all his of the lap time here to talk things over with the official. Now he makes the move. Henry Patterson will be the replacement for Joe Gamble. 547 to go in the ball game. We'll have to get Jeff on top of Rossville, 68-56. Two free throws coming for Rossville, though. Jordan Delks. Delks with 13 in the ball game. He's two of two from the charity stripe. Free throw by Delks is good. 14 points. This was a three-point lead at halftime by the Broncos. Rossville got a quick three to start the second half to tie it up as Delks misses the second. And then... The second, the remainder of the third quarter belong to the Broncos. Munoz pulls up for three on the other end, missed it. Rebound tip. Grabbed by Mulligan. Sadler across the half court line into the front court for Rossville. They're down by 11 with 5.25 to go. Sadler far corner guarded by Cover. Down low it goes. And Delp plays it up and in. Delks with 16, nine-point Bronco lead. The Broncos, again, get it right back down the floor quickly. Left wing, Patterson launches a triple, no good. Rebound to Delks. Hornets to try and get the lead under nine here. The deficit under nine, rather. On the left baseline, traveling with the ball is Jordan Mulligan. For the Hornets, that's their 12th turnover. As Jordan Oakley back into the game for Jeff, replacing Shane Wyant. Shane Wyant has done a nice job yeah, defensively for the Broncos. That was a good job there, uh, taking a stand against the larger uh, Mulligan for Rossville and forcing him to, to travel. Five minutes to go. Jeff by nine. They've got the ball 68-59. Munoz is going to walk the ball across the half-court line. He gives off to Coger. Coger near corner to Munoz. Man-to-man -man pressure by the Hornets. Out high to Williams at the half-court line. He pitches to Munoz. He drives the right, right baseline. Missed the floater. Oakley with a rebound, and he's fouled on the putback try. He'll shoot two free throws. Aaron Martin with the foul. His first for Rossville. Team's ninth, but two free throws here for Jordan Oakley. Oakley with four points in the ball game, coming back in the second quarter. And he fires his first free throw of the ball game, and he hits it. Ten-point lead for Jeff, 69-59. Broncos will be back in action again next Tuesday, 6.30. Start time against Twin Lakes in the JMC Classic as Oakley makes a pair. 
11 point lead for the Broncos with 4.38 to go in the game. Sadler with the ball, crosses the half court line for Rossville to Martin. Martin down low to Delps. He draws a blocking foul on the baseline. He was in the act of shooting too. So Delps back to the free throw line. He's one of two in the quarter and three out of four in the half from the foul line. As Oakley picks up his third personal. Free throw good by Jordan Delps. He's got 17. That leads all the Hornet players in scoring. His second freebie is also good. 70 to 61. Williams brings the ball into the front court for Jeff. To Coger, baseline right to Oakley on the baseline. He got by Brenneman and laid it in. Good play by Oakley. 72-61, and you've got to be impressed tonight, Paul, by the post players of Jeff. They're undersized. They've had some nice moves. Yeah, they've done a nice job uh, both on offense and defense, but especially a nice job there for, by Oakley. Hornets with the basketball. Near corner, three ball by Delts. No good. Rebound to Williams of the Broncos. He races into the front court. And dishes down low. Patterson is fouled on his way to the bucket. So Patterson is going to shoot two free throws as the Hornets are in the or guilty of 10 team fouls now. So double bonus time for Jeff. As Derek Brenneman charged for his fourth personal. Yeah, the Hornets are down by 11 here. And uh, with Patterson shooting two free throws, they've got to start getting a little bit desperate right in about now. Henry Patterson with two points back in the first quarter has not attempted a free throw tonight for Jeff. This free throw is way short. The lead remains at 11 for Jeff, 72-61. And Coach Scott Bunnell yelling out to Patterson says, get some more arc on that free throw. He fires this one. He gets more, a lot better arc that time. He makes it. 73-61, Jeff. Sadler with the ball, front court for Rossville. Had it knocked away from behind by Coger out of bounds. Rossville keep. 3.45 to go, Jeff by a dozen. Baseline right, front court. The Hornets will inbound. And Brendan Miller with the inbound pass. Into Brenneman. Brenneman drives down the lane on Oakley. Missed the shot, got his own rebound. Foul on the putback. And it went in, so it'll be a chance of the three-point play for Derek Brenneman. Yeah, the Broncos are having some trouble getting rebounds. Not surprising with their lack of size, but they really need to be a little more physical down there and get the rebounds, but without fouling. Oakley picked up his fourth. He'll check out. Shane Wyatt into the ball game. Brenneman to the foul line for the Hornets. He's got 17 in the ball game, and he'll try to convert the, the three-point play. Timmy Fogarty's going to check back in for Jeff. And Henry Patterson will take a seat on the Bronco bench. 73-63, Jeff. 3.40 to go in the fourth quarter. Brenneman's free throw is good. Three-point play is converted. Williams with the ball in front court. Near corner to Coger. Won't shoot. Gets it out to Munoz. He's over on the far sideline on the dribble. Now to Williams. And this time, Sadler will come out and pick him up. Far corner with it. Munoz drives the baseline. Got the roll on a tough shot on the baseline. His first field goal of the quarter. He's got 36, 75, 64, Jeff. Points right back up the floor. Delks with it on the left wing. To Miller. Miller's going to hand off to Sadler out at the half court line. Sadler on the dribble now. And he gets it off to Miller far sideline. Miller with it. Reversing dribble left side. Off to Delk. Started very closely by Williams. Delk tries to drive the baseline. He spins. Lays it up. No. Rebound knocked out of bounds by Jordan Delk. So Roscoe back to Lafayette. Jeff with 2.46 to go. Jeff leading 75-64. Brandon Williams with the ball. Front court for the Broncos to Koger right wing. The Broncos can burn some clock here if they choose with 2.35 to go. Koger with it again near 
sideline. Down low to Wyatt. Wyatt puts it up in the lane. Got the roll. Well, you've got to be impressed with Shane Wyatt tonight. The sophomore with six points all in the second half. 77-64, Jeff. And Shane played a lot of the JV game tonight as well, by the way, which Jeff won 52-31. Hornets down low, and we get a Bronco foul. As Delp drew a Bronco foul. We'll see who picked it up. It's going to go get Shane Wyant. Wyant with a third personal foul. Two free throws coming here for Jordan Delp. 18 points for Delp in the game. Now he has 19. He's six for six from the foul line in the second half is Jordan. Delp, the 6'2", junior, makes the pair. 77-66, Jeff. 2.09 to go in the contest. Fogarty with the ball front court for Jeff, far sideline. Gets it to Munoz. The Broncos are going to spread the floor. Work on the clock with two minutes to go. Now Williams with it. The Cobra on the right wing. Cobra bounces down low to Wyatt. Wyatt comes down the lane and lays it up and in. Boy, the Hornets really have not had an answer for Wyatt tonight when he's been in there. He's got eight points, 13-point lead for the Broncos. Yeah, he caught Brenneman out of position a little bit there and went to the basket and finished strong. Three ball, top of the key, buried by Kendall Sadler for Rossville. He's got 17, 10-point lead for the Broncos with 1.30 to go. Munoz crosses half-court line, comes down the lane, dishes down on to Wyatt. Wyatt lays it in again. Shane's been unstoppable. And do we have a foul as well? I believe so. Shane's going to have a chance at a three-point play. Basket is good as the foul is called on Aaron Martin, his second. Yeah, I'll tell you what really made that play with Cesar Munoz. He drove straight to the basket and a no-look dish to uh, Shane Wyatt. And I'll tell you about every Russell Hornet defender in the area went straight to Cesar Munoz on that play. 81-69, Lafayette Jeff and Shane Wyatt in the double figures here. Ten points all in the second half. He'll try to make it 11 from the foul line. Shane's free throw is no good. Rebound to Rossville. They're down by 12 with 1.16 to go. Here's the three ball. Martin right wing and rattled out. Rebound tip. Grabbed by Lafayette Jeff. Munoz with it. He'll dribble up the far sideline into the front court. Coach Bunnell says back it out and work on the clock with 105 to go fourth quarter. The Hornets now may need to foul. Williams with it. Williams on the dribble, top of the key. Guarded by Miller. Miller won't foul. Now Williams on the dribble as Miller's trying to chase him, but still no foul to Cobra. Now near corner to Patterson. Patterson comes down the lane. He's fouled on the drive. He'll shoot two free throws here. He's one of two from the foul line. 45 seconds to go. Foul called on Aaron Martin. His fourth. And Jeff to the foul line, leading 81-69. Henry Patterson, the free throw shooter, he's got three. And make it four, he got the friendly roll there. So with 45 seconds to go, the Broncos appear to be in good shape to starting the season off with a victory. As Patterson makes a pair. 83-69, Jeff. And we're gonna get a timeout called by Rossville with 43 seconds to go. Jeff on top, as I said, 83 they won the ball game against the Rossville Hornets. And the Hornets with the basketball. It's Kendall Sadler. He'll bring him across the front court. Picked up defensively by Cogar. He got the pass back from Brenneman. Sadler bounces top of the key to Martin. Sadler near corner. Launches a three. And he hits again. That's his fifth three of the half. 83-72 Jeff with 25 seconds to go. They can run out the clock now. Patterson with it front court to Cogar at the high post. Cogar top of the key, guarded by Martin. Cogar on the dribble, sends to Munoz out of the half court circle. 12 seconds to go. Munoz is going to be fouled by Sadler. Kendall Sadler, his second foul. Cesar Munoz will have two free throws with 11 seconds to go in the game. Cesar with 36. Two free throws here. We're getting too shy of a 40-point effort. Yeah, he's really been the Definitely the main offensive uh, story for the Broncos, and uh, he's also allowed the other Broncos to, uh, on offense to score because he's been drawing double teams all, pretty much all night. 
Caesar had 20 of those points in the first half. He had 14 more in the third quarter. Free throw is good. Eighty-four seventy-two. So he made one or two. Rossville with the basketball and cutting to the lane, down the lane, and missing a shot at the buzzer was Kendall Sadler.